I can't play Skyrim, and that's okay. With the nine year anniversary of Skyrim happening right now as I'm recording this, I feel like I should talk about the game, or at least talk about my experience and how I no longer feel the love I had for that game way back then, right now. So, but first, a quick background of my relationship with The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I got Skyrim along with my first gaming PC in Christmas of 2012. I love that game. I put it all the time and I modded a whole bunch. I actually downloaded a Minecraft mod onto Skyrim where they add Steve as an NPC that you talk to. And I believe they also added the Minecraft dog and a Minecraft skeleton, which was pretty fucking dope, but honestly, but back to what we're talking about. I played the game, I played a whole bunch, and then I eventually got bored and moved on. Then, during E3 of 2018, when Bethesda announced Elder Scrolls 6, I was so hyped. Oh my god. I was back on the Elder Scrolls hype train. I couldn't wait for this game. Then I thought, wait, I can wait. I don't even have the Dragonborn DLC yet, and I've barely even played Dongard, and there was so much more to do in this game. So, I relaunched Skyrim in summer of 2018 like a week after E3, and I was like, damn, this game is fucking crazy. I got really addicted to this game during that time. I went too hard playing this game. Like, sleep and the other stuff I had to do during that summer were just not important because I was fucking playing Skyrim. There was so much shit to do, the new DLC, a whole new land. But then I stopped. I had to stop. I went on a weekend vacation, and when I got back, I was like, alright, that was a good break from the game. I think we're going to put it there. Like, I'm not going to play this game anymore. So, I stopped. Since then, I always had this itching feeling that I need to go back to Skyrim and play the game, but I never did it because I knew I was going to get trapped in the game, and it was going to be a productivity nightmare. So, I never played it. I looked at it on my Steam library, Every now and then, I was like, damn, dude, I'm going to fucking click that. I didn't I didn't click play. I didn't do it. But fuck, dude, I wanted to. It wasn't until The Outer Worlds came out in October of 2019. And I was blown away by The Outer Worlds. See, I never really played any RPG other than Skyrim. If you count Paper Mario or Pokemon or... Uh, there's probably a few more there that I probably played, but I never really played a hardcore RPG like Skyrim. And if you're watching this, yeah, I know Skyrim is not a hardcore RPG, but to me it was. The only thing I knew about The Outer Worlds was that it's an FPS in space, and I was amazed. I was playing The Outer Worlds, and I was just shocked at all the content it had and what you can do with an RPG. And I kept comparing it to Skyrim and being like, man... Skyrim doesn't have this, you, you can't do that, or it's not this deep. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. After beating the Outer Worlds, I was like, man, fuck Skyrim, dude. Skyrim's so fucking lame compared to the Outer Worlds. Or is it? Is it lame compared to the Outer Worlds, or is it just lame compared to other well-done RPGs? So, after I beat the Outer Worlds, I was like, damn, dude. I no longer had that itching feeling to play Skyrim, because... I got that in the Outer Worlds, and I know if I play any other good RPG, I'm going to get that feeling once more. Which is why I keep staring at The Witcher 3 in my library. I have the game, I have all the DLC, and I really want to play it. But what's stopping me is Cyberpunk. I know the game will eventually come out, so I'm still going to wait for Cyberpunk, and then eventually I'll go back to play The Witcher 3 or watch the show or whatever. What I'm trying to say here is... As of right now, I don't know if The Outer Worlds is such an amazing, amazing game that it made me dislike Skyrim so much, or it's just that Outer Worlds was just a well-done RPG that any other well-done RPG would have also made me look at Skyrim unfavorably and just think of the missing potential of a game that came out nine years ago. Perhaps it's unfair to compare an RPG made in 2011 to an RPG made in 2019, but I don't think The Outer Worlds benefited a whole lot from the technology available in 2019. I think they benefited a lot from just good game design. That's just my opinion. But to move on from that, I played Skyrim a few days ago, about less than a week ago, 
and it started to just break apart. It always broke apart in my mind when playing the Outer Worlds. I was like, man, Skyrim didn't do this, it didn't do that. But when I was playing it this week, I was like, man, like, the combat is bland. Every dungeon quest, just copy-paste, go here, kill the guy, go back through a secret exit, and then you're done. And I know, I could restart my character and just play the game again, but that's just the same thing. There are a few cool, unique quests, but if I were to start it again, I would just be like, man, it's just the same quest over and over, and I'll eventually just be like, yeah, this is just... There is no point in restarting the game. And yeah, I could play using a different playstyle, but they're relatively all the same. Just one's physical and one's projectile. And that's the biggest difference between all the playstyles in the game. They're not too different. But what ended up being the last straw to break the camel's back was when I was getting my mods ready for Twitch to be, uh, TOS safe. The game started crashing on me pretty inconsistently. I would go near one area, game would crash, and I would go to it a third time and it wouldn't crash. I'm like, damn, that's kind of weird. The Dawnguard castle for me, every time I walked inside of the castle, it would just crash for me. Going to my Hearthfire house would crash. And just going to random locations, like running and pressing the map button, crashed for me. It was just like, man... I can't do this anymore. And yeah, I'm well aware that if I were to undo my mods and just have the original mod set and play the game that I could fix it and not crash anymore, but I just don't care to do that anymore. <laughs> like, I don't see putting in work of organizing mods to make a game work that I don't want to play. If you were to tell me a year or two years ago that I would eventually in the future have an unplayable version of Skyrim and I just couldn't play anymore. I would be, I guess devastated is a really strong word, but I'll be like, what? That fucking sucks. There's no way. That's awful. But now I'm just like, yeah, I don't care anymore. But hey, I'm so excited to play Bethesda's new RPG games like Elder Scrolls 6 and Starfield. I'm actually more excited for Starfield, even though we know nothing about these games and we won't know anything about these games for a long time. We actually do know a little bit about Starfield. There was those leaks. <laughs> and air quotes. There was those leaks of Starfield that were images taken in 2018 and they were posted online in September of 2020. Sounds suspicious. By the way, side tangent, those Starfield leaks were totally intentional. The screenshots didn't show anything interesting, so there's no risk for community criticism. People start talking about the game again, which is like what a regular marketing event is supposed to do, and people make YouTube videos and tweets about this game, so Bethesda can just be like, oh yeah, we should add that, we should add this. So that was a totally intentional leak. Alright, side tangent over. So, long story short, I was addicted to Skyrim until I played another RPG. I realized that Skyrim isn't that good, and now it's unplayable because I just can't go back to it. And that's not really a bad thing. The game came out in 2011. This game has been out for 9 years. Yeah, it's been re-released multiple times, but it's still an old game. This game came out on the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. That's not even last gen. In the end, I'm just complaining about a game that came out 9 years ago, and I'm just saying that I no longer want to play this really old game. And that's okay, because not all things last forever. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow on Twitch and Twitter at Cradmosh.